Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. Today I'm filming a skincare collection video. I never thought anyone would even want this video. However, I was doing like a skincare haul on my stories and I gave you guys like a little sneak peek of my skincare draw. And you guys went crazy in my DM saying, please do a skincare collection video. So your wish is my command. I actually tried to film a makeup tutorial this morning and it was not happening. So maybe it's a sign that we all need a skincare collection video right now. Quick disclaimer, nobody needs this amount of skincare. A lot of it I receive in PR and I like to try different things. It's one of my passions alongside makeup. So it is something that I do like to spend my money on. I do give a lot of things away to friends and family and things like that. So also for reference, I'm 24, nearly 25, and I really, really love skincare. Like I really, really look after my skin. And I've been on a little bit of like a skincare journey recently where I feel like I've never really heard anybody like talk about this really. I feel like my skin from when I was like 19, 20 has changed so much between then and now. I actually prefer my skin now but I feel like it needs different products than what I needed like when I was like 19, 20 and I feel like there's been a big shift in my skin during that period of time particularly over the past like year or so I feel like my skin has changed so much and the products that used to work for me when I first started this YouTube channel no longer suit my skin it's so weird how like skin can change and things like that so i don't know if anybody has experienced the same thing of like approaching mid-20s and the products that you used to use when you were like late teens early 20s sort of like don't work anymore i just thought i'd mention that just to see if any of you have experienced that because i know like my demographic is pretty much my age range um so let me know i'd be curious to see what you think but yeah i hear people talking about like teenage skin and I hear a lot about like obviously anti-aging skincare but not that sort of shift in the middle um of where skin not necessarily changes in in like a bad way but just changes and that you require maybe different products um or maybe it's just a personal experience and I'm the only one <laughs> but yeah like I say I love skincare I love trying new products I'm going to be going through some of my favorite all-time products today and what my current routine is and that sort of things as well as the rest of my collection. So we're gonna get into the video before you begin. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up if you like this video and leave me a lovely little comment in the comment section below. And if you wanna see my skincare collection, then keep on watching. So guys, you're gonna have to bear with me through this beginning part of the video because we're in my bathroom. It's very echoey and it's very, very warm lighting in here. So we're not looking our best on camera, um, but this is my mirror cabinet. This is where I keep all my current skincare. There's actually a few things in here that are unopened as well, but let's dive right in. So this is what's in my skincare cabinet. I knew there would be jewellery in here, basically. This is where I come and I like take all my makeup off. It's obviously got like my toothbrush, my toothpaste in here. Um, but for the most part, this is all my skincare that's on the go at the minute and some stuff that I've not opened yet, but I want to try next. Um, so I'm going to show you through everything. I think we're going to work from this side. So we have the Declio Mandarin Oil Serum. I really like the Declio Oil Serum. I know some people don't work well with like aromatherapy products, but I really love them. We've got the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum as well. It's really nice before makeup. If you're doing like a glowy makeup look, I really, really like that. We have another Declio oil. This is the Neroli one. And we also have the Lavender one as well. We have the Satin Soft Dry Oil. It's really hard to see, but this is basically for like body, hair, skin, all that good stuff. Basically just tuck those in the corner so they're out the way. Um, we've got the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Oil. This is my current oil that I'm using on a night time. I absolutely love it. It's beautiful. Elizabeth Arden Ceramide Capsules. We've got my cellar water up there. I don't really use my cellar water, as I say. I only really use it between um, makeup looks if I am doing like back-to-back -back content, but it's there if I need it. We've got the Wishful Get Even Rose Oil at the back. I've not tried that yet, but I definitely want to give it a go. This is my toothpaste. It's really, really good actually. Um, I use a tube of this and then I'll use a tube of like normal toothpaste because um, this has obviously got hydrogen peroxide in it. But yeah, I'm in a whitening phase at the minute, so I'm using that. We've got the Wishful Yo Glow um, Enzyme Scrub. Then down here, we've got Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, I believe. Then we've got an Ola Henriksen Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. That's unopened. And then we've got an Elemis Superfood AHA Glow Booster. Wow, I actually really like this. I used this a couple of times. It's actually really, really good. 
Um, underneath at the back there, underneath the toothpaste, we've got a Wishful Honey Balm. That's a moisturiser. Along here, we've got two Estee Lauder products. We've got the Advanced Night Repair, one of my fave products ever. And then we've got the Advanced Night Repair Intense Reset Concentrate. I've actually just gone through a full Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair and it was amazing. We've got the Ola Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream and the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. So I haven't opened this yet, but I know I really like it. The Kiehl's one, if I've got dry eyes, that is absolutely amazing. So it's a little bit too heavy for every day for me, but it's so, so good if I've got like a little bit of dry skin. We've got the Sweet Chef Ginger and Vitamin C Serum shot at the back there. This is my brush that I use to fake tan my face if I choose to do so. I try not to fake tan my face um, a lot actually because it really, really messes up my skin. A Votary Super Seed Serum and we've got a Murad Clarifying Oil Free Water Gel sample there. We've got the REN Bioretinoid Youth Concentrate Oil. And then we've got the REN Bioretinoid Youth Cream at the back there. I think I've got the Youth Serum as well. This range really breaks me out. It's like a plant alternative to retinol. But it really, really broke me out. But that doesn't mean I won't use it. I'll just use it like on my decolletage and like on my chest. Like I never ever waste products. They get given away or I use them on like my chest, my legs, like anything like that. Like I never ever let skincare go to waste. So yeah, I'll just use that on my chest. We've got the Ordinary Retinol 0.5% back there, but to be honest, I'm ready to use something a bit more advanced than the Ordinary, which is why I've moved on to the Medicaid. Um, but it's a good starting point for retinol. Maybe maybe not the 0.5%, but maybe um, I think I use like 0.1 or 0.2 at first. We've got the Grown Alchemist polishing facial exfoliating pink grapefruit um i can't lie i don't really use that this is the dr jart ceramidine cream that i was on about when my skin plays up this is a savior it's kind of like medicine for my skin like i just love it so much this is my current evening moisturizer so this is the ren overnight glow dark spot sleeping cream beautiful beautiful i'm really really liking this i've only used it for about two and a half weeks um but my skin is absolutely amazing at the minute and it's giving me really glowy skin and the texture is beautiful i don't wake up with like any sort of like tight skin or dry skin it really keeps me like nourished throughout the night i'm really enjoying it and then we've got the fresh rose deep hydration face cream under here again i've not opened that yet up here, we've got the Aurelia Cell Revitalize Night Moisturizer. Again, that's still in its box, not open, but I really want to try. Um, we've got my lip balm here, which I put on every night. This is the Fresh Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Balm. We've got my Gua Sha here from Mount Lay. Um, this is the Beauty Pie Super Retinol anti wrinkle Eye Cream. I used this for a bit, but it did give me a little bit of Melia, so I've gone off it a little bit. Um, underneath here, I've got the Wishful Honey Whip Moisturiser. It is jam-packed in here, okay. Um, this is my fave Ren Daily AHA Tonic. I'm going to talk about that a little bit later because I've got so many backups of this. It's honestly my absolute favourite. It leaves me with such glowy skin. I've recommended it to all my friends. All my friends love it. Um, we've got a jade roller at the back there. This is my current eye cream. This is the Ren Brightening Dark Circle Eye Cream. I've only been using this for a few days, so not really seen any results yet, but it's actually a really nice texture. So loving using that. The Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Supercharged Complex. Um, this is empty, so that needs to go. I've literally just finished that. It's really nice. It did absolutely nothing for my dark circles, but, but it was really, really good for smoothing the under eye, like plumping, like my makeup went on beautiful. It was really good. This is the Declio Mandarin Vert Sun Kissed Cream. Really, really nice. It's almost like tinted, so it gives you a really nice glow. This is the Beauty Pie Super Retinol Serum. This broke me out, so I'm using that on my chest at the minute. This is the current chest retinol that's going on right now this is the bite beauty agave lip therapy scrub i believe yeah this is the scrub and the balm is next to my bed and at the back here we've got some spot patches from beauty bay those are really really good um we've got the kate somerville eradicate blemish treatment we've got rhodiol dragon's blood eye gel which i've not opened yet we've got the lancome genifique eye cream which again i've not opened and this is when you know that i use a product this is the rapid brow 
Brow Serum and the Rapid Lash Serum. Um, absolutely love these. I use these to grow my brows and my lashes, so these are part of my evening routine. That is pretty much it for the bottom shelf. So we're gonna move up here. So again, we're gonna go from left to right. This is the Declio Neroli Mask. I really like this. It's like a hydrating mask and basically as you massage it in, it turns into an oil. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's really, really nice. Um, this is the Fresh Black Tea Instant Perfecting Mask. That is actually empty. Again, that needs to go up there. Really, really beautiful mask. Really softening, comforting. This is the Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm. Um, not tried this, but I'm, I keep putting it in here so that I can try it. We've got the P. Louise Eye Gel, we've got the P. Louise Texture Treatment, and we've got the P. Louise Moisturiser as well. I gave them a go. I'm not totally 100% on them. I like the moisturiser. Um, I think I need to learn how to use the texture treatment. It's not a um, sort of texture that I'm familiar with, so I need to give that another go. We've got another lash serum back here. We've got the Aloe cleansing foam we've got two cool for school mineral pink salt deep cleansing water this is my fave micellar water of all time we've got the beauty bay skin fixer clay mask we've got the beauty pie qi energy ginseng super glow serum this is actually a hair product and um, i put it in my hair every night hence the reason why it's in my skincare cabinet because this is sort of like my nighttime go-to this is the Kerastars magic night serum and i put this in my ends every night this is instantly softens the ends of your hair it's literally beautiful and i put it on every night it's like a serum but for your hair um it's just amazing i'm obsessed then we've got the beauty pie oxygen instant facial refueling mask really nice and softening again we've got the evlam radiance face mist this is my current face mist that i'm using and, and then we've got my favorite pharmacy honey potion this is like a spa in a tub it's like a thermotherapy mask so as you massage it in it warms up it is absolutely gorgeous it's so nice and then we've got the eve lom rescue mask as well this is so so good when your skin just really really needs it like when you just need the rescue when it's angry it's beautiful i love it so much We've got the Summer Fridays Overtime Mask. I really, really like this one. It gives me like pumpkin vibes, that one. It's so nice. We've got a Wishful Yoglo Enzyme Scrub at the back. And then we've got the Purity One Step Facial Cleanser. Again, I've not opened that. Um, we've got another toothpaste. <laughs> Guys, I'm obsessed with the, with the toothpaste. Another product that I put in my hair most nights is the Ordinary Multipeptide Serum for Hair Density. We've got an Ola Henriksen Truth Serum here. And then at the back there, we have the Kiss False Scara Remover. Because in case I use those lashes, I have to use a special remover. So that's why that's that. The Honeymoon Glow AHA Resurfacing Night Serum. Really like that. We've got a little black opium sample there. Don't know why that's in there. So this is what I meant in the beginning of the video when I said that products that used to work for me no longer do. This is the La Roche-Posay Effaclar Duo Plus. And honestly, this used to be my absolute go-to. I used to go through tubes and tubes and tubes of this. Um, and to be honest, I just don't rate it anymore. It just does nothing for my skin. It dries me out. Yeah, I, I never expected to not really get on with this anymore, but I tried it not that long ago and it, it just wasn't for me. And yeah, it's a shame really, but I will use this if my skin is like really, really needing it. But um, for the most part, it's definitely not a daily thing. I have the Fresh Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence. This is my absolute favourite, favourite essence of all time. It's absolutely gorgeous. This makes my skin glow like glow 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 it's so good and um, if you've not tried this yet definitely recommend i've already been through one whole bottle of this and this is my second this is my current eye makeup remover the laura mercier soothing eye makeup remover it's really really good i've gone through two of these already got the nux ultra comforting face balm i've tried this it's really nice it's so good if you've got like really dry skin um then we've got the Cosrx BHA power liquid serum again really really nice we've got the beauty pie plantastic micro peeling super drops we've got the emma hardy moisture boost vitamin c cream i've not tried this but i'm super excited too we've got the eve Lom gel balm cleanser i haven't tried this again it's one of those products that i'm waiting to use this is my current um morning and evening serum so i use this day and night and i just use one pump 
It took me a few weeks to see the benefits of this, but my skin absolutely glows with this and my it, this under makeup is just unreal gives you like a glow obviously it's an anti-aging concentrate but my skin just looks plump looks hydrated looks glowy looks fresh and i have that sort of like all day glow um so i'm really enjoying using this especially in the colder months i have my medicaid intelligent retinol 3tr that's my current retinol product that i'm using kate somerville exfoliate this is the exfoliating treatment this is so, so good. You know when your skin just needs like a refresh, you need all that dead skin off? This is so amazing, but it's very, very expensive, but it's worth it. This is the Kiehl's Calendula Toner. Um, this was nice in summer, but to be honest, it's a bit too drying for me at the moment. Obviously, this is for normal to oily skin. But to be honest, it's just far too drying for me, which is why I've moved on to this, which is the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. This is absolutely amazing. But it's absolutely gorgeous. It softens the skin. It gives you a glow. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then finishing off with one of my favourite products of all time. This is the Elemis Frangipani Manoi Body Oil. What do I have to say about this? It's actually a hair, nail and body oil. So basically what you do with this, you put this on your radiator or you put it in some warm water and it melts into an oil. As you can see, it's like solid. This smells like you've been at a spa all day. I cannot even explain the smell of it. It just smells like you've been at a luxury spa. Your skin is hydrated. The best thing ever is, right? having a bath with loads of bubbles, Epsom salts, that sort of thing. And then coming out the bath, slathering yourself in this. And bearing in mind when this has been on the radiator, it's a lovely warm oil. It's not like boiling hot, it's like a really warm oil. So you're like smothering yourself in this warm body oil and then putting fresh pajamas on and getting into bed with fresh sheets. Nothing beats that experience, I can tell you. Like, honestly, it is quite literally the best. A couple of products that are next to my sink just because they're just there is no room there's no room in here elemis pro collagen cleansing balm guys if you have not tried this yet you need to honestly i've been using this for the best part of five six years now and it's absolutely my favorite cleansing balm of all time i've tried other ones and just been disappointed nothing has ever beaten this it melts makeup down so well like i can have like a really smoky eye on and it'll just melt it down it's a yeah you think so too <laughs> you can use this as a first cleanse to remove makeup and a second cleanse as well it will give you the most prepped glowing beautiful like radiant skin it is just unreal and as well like it does last a long time you get 100 grams in there so it's massive and yeah, it's just one, it's just, you need it. You need it, you need it, you need it, you need it, you need it. And then this is my Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I've been through one of these before, so I already know I love it. Um, this is my current second cleanse and morning cleanse. As I say, you can use the Elemis as a first and second cleanse. This is the one that I'm using at the minute. I absolutely love this. It's for all skin types. It's so gentle and it doesn't leave your skin feeling like stripped or dry or anything like that. And that is all my skincare in here. So that's sort of like my on-the-go products, things I want to try next um chest products hair products all that good stuff so some things i'm like hit and miss like i've started using them and i've not really carried on and some things are my absolute go to so i have another drawer of skincare in my makeup room which is actually probably bigger than this i don't know um, and basically that's full of my backups so i'm going to show you that now so guys this is a drawer in my makeup room which has all sort of like my backup skincare um i think one or two things in here i have used but for the most part as you can see a lot of things are like in boxes and stuff these are all like backup products or products that i'm yet to use so basically what it is is like maybe like up till about a year ago i'd say i was really really bad for like opening skincare using it a couple of times, then swapping on something else because I wanted to try something new and I got sent something else, so I wanted to try that. Whereas now I'm really, really strict. I try not to open things until I actually need it. So I've got a lovely stock built up here, but it's cause I've not actually opened stuff. So, so you guys will know that when I finish a product, for example, a moisturizer, um, I'll do a little review on my Instagram story and then I will 
get all my moisturizers out of here that I think will be suitable to replace that certain item. And then I actually let you guys choose my next moisturizer or cleanser, eye cream, whatever. I'm gonna talk you through all this. It's a bit unorganized in a way, but do you know what? It's all good. So starting down here, this is actually just for display all this front bit. This is a box of wipes from 4th Ray Beauty, but as you guys know, I don't use wipes and I don't think anybody should be using wipes. And then we've just got three Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm boxes. Um, they were full at one point, but I just get through it like anything it's one of my favorite products um ever but then moving on to this side of the drawer is where i tend to keep like my cellar waters and any new cleansers that i've been sent so we've got the bare minerals pureness gel cleanser this is with coconut and prickly pear i didn't even know bare minerals did skincare so super excited to try that we've got the Garnier Micellar Hyaluronic Aloe Water for dehydrated and sensitive skin. So that was sent to me by Garnier, but it's always good to have a stock of micellar water. I always um, use micellar water when I'm swapping between makeup looks. So for example, if I'm doing like a Halloween look and then I'm going to do back to back makeup, I tend to use micellar water quite a lot for that. So um so yeah, I've got the original one here and then this is my favourite. This is the Micellar Rose Water Cleanse and Glow. That one's really good. Then I've got my La roche Posay Serra Zinc Mist. I feel like when my skin needs soothing, this is a really good one. And then I've just got two cleansers from L'Oreal here. So we've got the Replumping Micellar Water and then we've got the Replumping Gel Wash. These are both unopened, so I'm waiting to use these. Obviously, I've got quite a lot of micellar waters to get through and cleansers and stuff. So I'm actually waiting to use those, but they were very kindly gifted to me by L'Oreal. Then down in this gap, there was two samples. So we've got the Dr. Botanicals turmeric superfood restoring treatment mask again i've not used this and then the Philosia oxygen glow super affecting radiance cream i love little like minis and samples for when i travel if i find that i run out of a certain category like moisturizer or whatever and i've got none left then i will use my little samples and try and like discover a new product or i tend to give like a lot of samples and minis away to friends and family as well so they can sort of try something and be like oh rebecca do you know what i really like this will you get me it for christmas or whatever so yeah um this is just an empty box <laughs> that's still in here this is the medicaid intelligent retinol 3tr um i actually started using this a few days ago so that's why the box is still in there it needs to come out so i don't really know how to approach this but i'm just going to go through everything as quick as i can this is the moravica queen cream a little sample of that then we've got the sirene aqua restore eye essence we've got a little drunk elephant Proteiny polypeptide cream, Charlotte Tilbury Eye Rescue. Got some bits from Colourpop. This is the Fourth Ray Beauty uh, lip mask, overnight lip mask. Kate Somerville Delicate Recovery Cream. Got this from Aldi, which I never actually ended up using. This is the La Cura Avocado Bright Eyes Overnight Retinol Sleeping Mask. Never tried this, but I actually really need to. We've got the Laura Mercier Illuminating Eye Cream. Really love this one. It's really um, moussey and whipped, so it's nice for under makeup. Got another one of those Colourpop lip masks. I've got the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peel Pads. I love the original ones of these. Um, I actually had a smaller pack of the original ones, and then I've gone to the bigger box because I actually love and adore them so 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 much really really game-changing product for me i feel like it's one of those products that you see instant gratification and um, you don't have to like wait for results or anything and yeah just amazing smooth fine lines minimize look of pores improve appearance of uneven tone and texture so i'm gonna get through my original ones see if they're still working for me and then i might move on to the extra strength but we'll see how we get on i've got a little summer fridays cloud dew oil free gel cream and then another one of those 4th Ray Beauty lip masks. We've got the Ren Clean Skin Mineral SPF 30 Mattifying Face Sun Cream. I haven't tried this yet. I'm currently working my way through my Fenty one. And I really, really like the Fenty one. But I'm going to definitely try this. I've got a few SPFs 
um to try i really like this brand so hopefully i will like this got the eve Lom cleansing oil capsules travel case but these look really really convenient for traveling so next time i'm away or anything like that i'm gonna give these a go We've got the classic paula's choice exfoliate two percent bha liquid exfoliant so this is a cult favorite this is a skincare fave for so many people and then, do you know what i've never tried it i've never ever tried it but so many people love it and i've just not come around to using it because i've had that many liquid exfoliators to get through so this is definitely on my list for what i'm going to use after i finish my current one um i'm really really excited to see what this brings me because so many people love this We've got the Murad Clarifying Oil-Free Water Gel. Um, super excited to use this. This looks so up my street. I love Murad as well. Um, and loads of people say that this is really, really nice. So I'm going to give this a go soon. A Maui Grow Strong Brow Oil. Super excited to use this because the packaging is like a rollerball, which I think is so convenient. I've never seen that before, so... Excited to try that. I've got the Lancome Advanced Genifique Youth Activating Concentrate. A little E-Spa Yuzu and Ginger Cleansing Sorbet. So this is a balm to oil cleanser. We've got a Wishful Yoglo in the Tropical Fruit Scent. Revolution Niacinamide 15%. Um, I'm trying not to use products that are like one ingredient like this because I find that it adds so many steps to your routine when you could literally just buy one product and it has all those ingredients in it. But... Um, always handy to have if I need it. I really like niacinamide as an ingredient for my skin as well because I'm quite oily. So, And then I've got two backups of my absolute fave, Ren Daily AHA Tonic. So again, this is a liquid exfoliator. This is the limited edition summer one. Original version is actually in an orange bottle, but it's exactly the same thing. It's just got like a cucumber scent to it. But I really, really, really love this. It makes my skin feel so fresh knocks off any dead skin it gives you a glow it's just beautiful it's a really really nice product probably one of my favorite liquid exfoliators that i've ever used that's why i've got two backups then moving around to this section here we've got the ren ever calm overnight recovery balm we've got the la roche posay anthelios spf this i actually bought this to use after my uh, fenty one runs out We've got the SVR Palpebral Cream. This is Hyaluronic Acid, Omega 3, 6 and 9. We've got the Murad Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture Moisturizer. This is actually from my Caroline Hirons Skin Rocks Hall of Fame kit. I actually got the routine kit. If any of you are into the kits and everything, um, this is from that. Kate Somerville Goat Milk Cleanser. Fab. We've got the 1-1 Skin Antioxidant Energizing Essence, which I'm so excited to use this, but I've got an essence on the go at the minute. So this is why it's waiting in here. We've got the Emma Hardy Moringa Cleansing Balm. I used to use this years ago. I think I've had like one tub of it and it was before I started using Elemis. This I'm talking years ago. I'm talking like maybe like six or seven years ago I tried this. So... I've got it again in the Caroline Hirons kit and I'm actually excited to try it because I feel like it's quite similar to the Elemis one. Um, but yeah, super excited to use that. I've got my AHC Essential Real Eye Cream for face. What I love about this is that it's an eye cream, but you can actually use this for the whole face if you're in like a situation where you can't take many products or anything like that. So super excited to try this. It's meant to be really, really good. I've got the Ren Omega-3 Optimum Skin Oil. And then again... <laughs> more ren we've got the ever calm global protection day cream summer fridays cc me serum very excited to use this i'm desperate for a new vitamin c serum um and i like that this is in a pump as well this is so convenient uh, when a serum is in a pump my life is just easier these are the dutch dennis gross alpha beta universal daily peels that i was on about that i have the super strength version of um get so many in this pack you can use them daily but to be honest i use them like once or twice a week and i see great results from it so you get 30 treatments in this box and there is an option to get a bigger box than this as well but i am super happy just to have this one with 30 in it it's absolutely amazing for me so convenient and i'm literally telling everyone to get these i'm like no if you've tried if you've not tried these you need to try them um they also do a mild version as well i think for sensitive skin so super fab 
all of these things that I'm talking about, like my super, super favourites, I will leave in the description box for you. I am making a note as I go on. We've got the Body Shop Chamomile Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. Um, I've got an eye makeup remover on the go at the minute, but this is probably going to be my next one. Um, meant to be really good. Got it in my Caroline Hirons kit. So, yeah. And we've got the Medicaid Crystal Retinol 3. It's obviously going to be my next retinol product after the Intelligent Retinol 3TR. This is actually retinol, so it's a little bit different. Um, but, yeah, I absolutely love retinol. My skin just absolutely loves it. And especially, like, leading up to the wedding next year, I really, 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 really want amazing, amazing skin. So... Retinol is where it's at. As you can see, we've got an array of minis here, so I'm going to go through them super quick. We've got the Declio Mandarin Cream. So this is the one which is sort of like sun-kissed. I actually have the full tub of this. It's actually really nice. We've got Declio Toner. We've got Kate Somerville Total Repair Cream. We've got... That's a conditioner. We've got Comfort Zone Renight Cream Nourishing Vitamin Cream. We've got Declio Antidote Advanced Concentrate. We've got the Prey Ageless Throat and Decolletage Cream. I might put this in my current skincare. I'm going to put that to one side. Um, we've got the Lavender Night Balm from Declio. There's a lot of Declio because um, my mother-in-law... Um, has been doing like Declio facials for years and years. She's amazing. I always get an advent calendar from her every year as well. So I always end up with like loads of Declio minis. Um, I've got two of the eye creams. This is the Jasmine one. Got the Declio Eucalyptus Balm. You've got the Rose Night Balm. This is Verso Daily Glow with Retinol 8 and Vitamin C. It's going to be a while before I use this because I'm not ready to be on Retinol 8. We've got a clay mask from Declio. We've got the MDO Intense Hydrating Moisturiser. We've got the Shiseido Power Infusing Concentrate. We've got another eye gel from Declio. We've got the Balance Me BHA Exfoliating Concentrate. God, I've got a lot of minis. We've got Comfort Zone Hydro Memory Cream Gel. This, this is the This Works Stress Check CBD Face Shield. La Roche-Posay Cicaplast B5. What's this? Soothing Repairing Balm. Oh, lovely. Saturday Skin Bright Potion Probiotic Power Serum. Declio Neroli Bijerard BB Cream. I actually really like this. It's really nice. But the shade range is awful. Um, we've got the Madara Deep Moisture Regenerating Night Cream. We've got a little Saint Tropez Self Tan bronzing water face mist we've got a little fourth ray beauty hydrating hyaluronic mist indeed labs nano bronze bronzing drops not tried those we've got the tan lux face illuminating self tan drops shiseido wrinkle smoothing cream and dr botanicals kiwi superfood cooling eye serum so moving on to this back section this is where i have all of my sheet masks um, there is actually a Rituals body cream in there. That's not meant to be in there. But this is where I keep all of my like sachet samples and my sheet masks. So we've got a Wishful Yoglow Enzyme Scrub. We've got Kate Somerville Total Repair. And we've got Black Tea um, Age Delay Eye Concentrate from Fresh. These sheet masks from Garnier are actually my favourites. But I like the orange one. I think it's the Vitamin C one. Um, really, really good for before makeup prep. I've got Dr. Jart Ceramidin. I actually love this range from Dr. Jart. Whenever my skin's playing up or anything like that, this range is my go-to. I've got the cream of this and I absolutely love it. I've got another one of those Garnier ones. Solista Beauty Wonderberry Skin Defense Facial. Love that. We've got the Antipodes Culture Probiotic Night Recovery Water Cream. We've got CeraVe Cream to Foam Cleanser. Garnier Moisture Balm, AHC Natural Essential Mask. Got a couple of Charlotte Tilbury samples. We've got Magic Cream Light and Magic Night Cream. We've got a Moisturising Foot Mask. We've got another Garnier uh, Sheet Mask. These under the eye are absolutely amazing when you've got a hangover. I put these in the fridge and it's just unreal. Some more samples from Fresh. We've got the Rose Face Mask and the Black Tea Firming Overnight Mask. Ooh, that sounds nice. I'm going to use that tonight. I'm actually going to put that to one side. These are actually my teeth whitening strips. <laughs> I just keep them in there because I know that they're there. We've got the Wishful Chin Lift. We've got Beauty Pie 
uh, soft feet peel socks. We've got some OK Sheet mask. I absolutely love this brand as well. These are foot peel ones. We've got another Beauty Pie sheet mask. We've got OK Anti Blue Light sheet mask. We've got this one from Halika Halika. This is but this is the baby pet magic sheet mask i did actually just buy this because it's got a cat on it i won't lie more from okay garnier these ones do my head in a little bit like there's so much serum in there that i just feel like it's a bit of a waste to put it on one sheet mask and then it's done do you know what i mean like the quantity of one bottle of serum for your skin like do you know what i'm trying to say like i feel like that's a bit of a waste like you could probably decant that into a bottle it's a beauty pro thermotherapy warming gold foil mask oh that sounds nice we've got a nip and fab dragon's blood hydration mask we've got some more charlotte tilbury um samples we've got cucumber sheet mask we've got magic eye rescue from charlotte tilbury more okay and then we've got this one from sweet chef and then the rest of these are literally just okay sheet masks. I think I've got some Tony Moly ones as well. Yeah, I've got some Tony Moly ones back there. And it just goes all the way back. And I've got some P. Louise muslin cloths back there as well. So, so those are all my sheet masks. So moving around to this section at the back, we've got Mario Badescu Witch Hazel and Rose Water Toner. This is the Biosance Squalene and Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum. We've got the Dr. Barbersturm enzyme cleanser super excited to use that we've got the herbivore cloud jelly serum beauty bay skin hit calming serum we've got fourth ray beauty rainfall hyaluronic serum the l'oreal pure retinol night serum we have the Beauty Pie Plantastic Overnight Miracle Face Oil. I like stuff like that to use with my gua sha. I feel like face oils are just beautiful for that. This is the Beauty Pie Super Healthy Skin Sleep Oil. You guys know me, I love my sleep products. If you follow me on my story, you will know this. Um, this is the Garnier Lavendin Anti-Age Sleep Cream for Night. We've got the L'Oreal Revitalift Filler and Hyaluronic Acid plumping day cream We've got elemis pro collagen eye revive mask can't wait to use that to be honest and then we've got another l'oreal l'oreal revitalift filler hyaluronic acid spf 50 so i'm assuming this is day cream as well We've got the ren ever calm redness relief serum but this is the la cura pineapple face serum again guys most of this is pretty much unopened um declior white clay mask and then these are pretty much all the same like you've got a cleanser in there you've got two of the cleansing mousse and then another clay cleansing gel that is empty so i don't know why that's in there but this is the glow recipe pineapple sea bright so i actually really like that take that out um we've got the tan Lux super glow spf 30 serum this is one of my favorite products of all time but i feel like it's so hard to get hold of if you don't know a gino rep this is the Gino Instant Comfort Mask and I absolutely love this. This makes your skin glow like nothing. Um, I do feel like they need a bit of a revamp with the packaging, but honestly, I love this so much. Again, I get it from my mother-in-law. Um, this is the This Works Stress Check Kind Hand. So that's a body product, so that should not be in there. Then we've just got an OK Foaming Cleansing Bar. I've never used that at the back a youth to the people kale green tea spinach cleanser we've got a cleansing gel from e-cooking this is another one of my favorite um spfs this is the garnier spf 50 um i took this to ib first so good really nice under makeup as well because it's really lightweight we have a votary cleansing cloth and then more elemis cleansing cloth Evolution jade roller some scrunchies um we have an origins clear improvement active charcoal mask we've got a mini brazilian bum bum cream again not supposed to be in there and then that's just the box for my gua sha which is actually in my bathroom we had a little moisturizer hiding back there this is the prey 24 karat gold wrinkle repair cream um and then at the back here, these little boxes, they're actually all the Ferio sheet masks for the UFO 2, which is here. 
This is my Ferio UFO 2. So basically what you do with this is you take one of these little sheet masks, you pop it on and um, you can scan the back of the sheet mask using the app and it will do a treatment which goes with the mask. This uses thermotherapy, cryotherapy and LED light therapy. So guys, this is expensive, but if you have like a lot of facials and stuff like that, um, you will love this. When we moved house a year ago, I lost the charges to this. I only found it like a week ago and now I've started using this again and I'm absolutely obsessed. It's like a spa treatment at home. Um, it's really, really good and you can actually use your own serums or your own sheet masks. You can actually create your own treatments on the app and stuff if you want to do a certain LED light therapy for, I don't know, for breakouts or anti-aging or if you want to do some thermotherapy, if you want to do some cryotherapy around the eyes, if you've got some puffy eyes in the morning. It's so, so good and it barely needs charging either. So um, just thought I'd mention that because I know I've got the for Rio boxes out and about. Um, my favourite one is this one. Um, which is the which is the call it a night. This is beautiful before bed. I also like this one, which is the Manuk honey. That is beautiful as well. I do think I have a discount code for this. Um, I'll leave a link in the description box for you if I do, but I'm not sure. I'll have to double check. <laughs> that is everything in my skincare collection. Right, guys, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed watching this skincare collection video with me today. Apologies of the sound in the bathroom. It's very echoey in there. <laughs> But before you leave, don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button if you like this video and leave me a lovely little comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!